Do you know the difference between JavaScript and TypeScript? Are you unsure which one to choose for your projects? Do you think it's worth learning and if it is, how do I even get started? My past tutorials were made using Next.js and TypeScript and I got a few comments from people asking me to build more apps in JavaScript. So that made me wonder, should I be advising beginners to focus on learning TypeScript rather than only JavaScript or should they focus on mastering JavaScript before learning TypeScript? I think not knowing if you should learn TypeScript from a complete beginner is really common. And the truth is that TypeScript became being very popular in the last few years only. So there are a lot of experienced developers who might not know TypeScript or might be new to them. So if you're learning to code in 2023, should you jump in the queue and learn it? Let's find out. JavaScript is the language of the web. It has dominated the same for years. It's fast, flexible, and widely supported. As projects get bigger and more complicated, developers sometimes run into problems with JavaScript because it allows flexible variables types and doesn't enforce strict rules. This can cause error while the code is running and make it harder to manage and maintain the code. So what does TypeScript offers? Is TypeScript a different language than JavaScript? No, TypeScript is JavaScript, but that doesn't mean TypeScript is the same as JavaScript. TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript, which means it includes all the features of JavaScript and stand it with additional capabilities. Okay, so the main difference is that TypeScript introduces static typing, allowing developers to specify variable types during development. This prevents many bugs before they even reach production, making your code more reliable. For example, let's say you have an e-commerce and in one of your pages you have product cards of the items you are selling. Each card has an image, title, description and price. And by mistake, instead of adding a price, a number, to the price field, you added the title and in the title you added the price. Okay, and your project is really big and you have many, many product cards. It would be really hard for you to realize you made a mistake because maybe this product card is in the second page of, in the second page of that specific page. So confident that your app is all working good, you deploy it only to find out that one of your items is showing the wrong information. TypeScript will have prevented you from deploying your website with error in the types. It will have shown you an error saying that the types for products and title don't match, okay, like this one. And then it will be really easy for you to check your cards and say, oh yes, I saw these two values here. This is a simple example of bugs that TypeScript will prevent you from. TypeScript intelligence auto-completion and inline documentation also helps you to be more efficient. The type inference system helps you catch errors while coding, reducing the debugging time significantly. Okay, so now we know the difference between JavaScript and TypeScript. Do you need to know JavaScript to learn TypeScript? Well, Yes, having a good understanding of JavaScript is essential before diving into TypeScript. I'm sure in the network, in Google, everyone will have told you that you need to know JavaScript to learn TypeScript. Since TypeScript builds upon JavaScript, the knowledge, you need a JavaScript knowledge. But the truth is like, when you learn TypeScript, you are learning JavaScript because TypeScript is built on top of JavaScript. So when you are, you cannot code in TypeScript without using JavaScript knowledge. So like variables, function, loops, uh, object oriented programming, all of these concepts are JavaScript concepts. And yeah, if you have a basics in JavaScript, it's going to be a lot easier for you to get around TypeScript. Um, 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 it would be a lot less overwhelmed. But I mean, if you are learning to code, to be honest, I would just start looking into TypeScript from this moment because as soon as you get used to writing a, your code type safe, as better it's going to be. Using myself as an example, uh, the first time that I have to start writing, I, I started using TypeScript because the project requires so, 
I found it uh, complicated. I didn't quite like it. I said I will never use TypeScript for a personal project. And yeah, like I was just so used to JavaScript that having to write in TypeScript, I was seeing it as uh, time consuming. That's how you will see it, you know? Sometimes it's like, it's not like it's super complex TypeScript. Sometimes it is, to be honest. It's just experience. As much experience as you have, as easier you, you be, it, will, it will be for you, right? But more than anything, TypeScript is time consuming. But then when you start using TypeScript, what you realize is that that time consuming that it takes you at the beginning when you are adding the types is time that you will say when you have bugs and errors in your project because it will tell you straight away what errors you have rather than trying to have to debug your code and looking everywhere trying to see where you made a mistake. And when you have a small project, yeah, but if you have a big project, that could be a headache. So. To answer the question, can you learn TypeScript as a complete beginner? Yes, you can learn TypeScript as a complete beginner. I am really confident in this quest, in this with this answer. But if you have a solid foundation in JavaScript, that would be great. But you can still learn as a complete beginner. Okay, so if you prefer to master the basics of JavaScript, do it. And once that you feel comfortable with the JavaScript basics, make the transition to TypeScript this will be more accessible. But yeah, bear in mind that TypeScript does bring new features and concepts, but with the right resources and the right uh, learning material, any beginners can pick it up and take advantage of its benefit, such as the static typing and better tooling support. I think I have another question that I haven't answered yet. Do you think it's worth learning it? And if it is, how do I even get started? Okay, it's not worth learning it. Learning TypeScript is a must if you want to become a software engineer. So it's not a question of if it's worth. It's like it's something that you have to do. Sooner or later, you will come across a job or a project that requires the use of TypeScript, especially now in 2023. So to get started with TypeScript, all you need to do is install it as a dependency in your project. So npm install TypeScript. And then you probably have a few types to write, so just follow the TypeScript documentation. Something else that you need to do is rename your JavaScript files with an extensio.ts, so instead of JS, TS. And TypeScript will automatically kick in, checking for type errors and offering suggestions. But let me just answer these questions because I had in the past a colleague telling me like, we cannot use TypeScript because the browsers don't read TypeScript, they read JavaScript. Okay, and that is true, the browsers read JavaScript, but that is when the compiler kicks in. We need a compiler that is called TSC. This will transpile your TypeScript code into plain JavaScript, ready for any browsers to execute. So, you code in TypeScript, you use the compiler, the compiler transforming in JavaScript, and the browser reads JavaScript. Okay? Okay, and now the final question, which one should you use for your project? That's completely up to you. While JavaScript remains the go-to language for quick and small projects, TypeScript is highly required for more complex applications. Its static typing, tooling and compatibility give developers a sense of confidence and efficiency, ultimately leading to a more robust code base. So next time you start a new project or you follow up a, one of my tutorials, you can choose TypeScript or JavaScript, whatever you want. You can still, you can still do the same tutorial. But uh, keep in mind what I just told you. If you learn TypeScript now, that is an advantage you will have. See you in the next video.